Um, I think regardless, if you're playing on point, Diddy Kong's such a strong character that oh, absolutely. It, it should not matter too much. But right there, shutting down Banana Pull with Dash Attack, um, it's, it's going to be tough for Diddy Kong to set up their space. Already, just kind of getting called out. I mean, didn't get too much of an uh, you know, advantage off of that. But just seeing, you know, how Hayes is actually kind of messed up a little bit, you know, kind of just putting them into disadvantage and not really getting a chance to actually do anything. Taking already 78%. Yeah, that was really clean. Ooh. Getting, you know, trying to get back to center stage, but couldn't really hold that center stage too well. Um, but just going to get grabbed, you know, trying to spam back here a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Not really putting too much damage on the board. Just trying to, you know, kind of stop Greninja from actually doing a lot of things. Trying yeah. to get that Nair, but just going to get called out by that down so And just going to get fair, putting it being put back off stage and just, wow. I feel like mm -hmm. Hayes is already swapping up their gameplay a bit. They pulled a banana right at the start and went into a long disadvantage streak from it. I think I can already see them now just throwing out larger hitboxes to try to stuff out Greninja rather than trying to stuff out Greninja with space projectiles because Greninja can get around that super well. Mm -hmm. And the side B, I think, could be really vital. It could um, stop Greninja's dash up approaches. They might have to use jump now. Absolutely. Definitely trying to see a little bit more. Like, they're, um, Hayes is definitely using a little bit more of, you know, Monkey Flip, which is kind of nice, but kind of missing. I feel like they were trying to go for a little bit mix-up, but this is a little bit, uh, a little bit making kind of a, a nice comeback. Ooh, Ooh, that could have been it, potentially. Ooh, but just yeah. going to miss that, though. Kind of controlling the ledge a little bit now, actually. This is definitely where we want to see Hayes be at, because Diddy Kong can definitely control the ledge amazingly well. Yeah, the monkey flip I think is going to be super vital because Greninja is a character that loves to rely on its speed, but really good fair right there calling out the banana pull. Greninja Absolutely. is a character that loves to rely on its speed, um, and so anything that can stuff out a front-facing approach is going to be super strong. So I think as the set progresses, we're going to see Odyssey going for more things like that jump fair and mm -hmm. jump nair to try starting off combos once uh, Hayes gets a read on the dash attack approaches that was going for initially. Beautiful. Absolutely, and definitely kind of seeing there, it can definitely be hard for, you know, to actually, or for Hayes to actually catch, you know, Odyssey's landings, because Greninja, as you said, is definitely really fast and just kind of slipping way out of there, kind of just slipping around everything right now, actually, still making it, you know, just as even as a game, or just more of, not even an even game, just already taking the lead. Um, but yeah, for sure. At 103%, you know, Hayes kind of needs to control, you know, the stock a little bit more like they were doing that um, first stock in order yeah. to actually take it here. They need a streak of momentum on ledge like they had. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to get super big percent strings. But already some desperation I saw in that fair earlier and just landing with Nair really um, just straight on top of Odyssey. Not what I, not what you want to see when it comes to bringing this comeback. Hayes has 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 to really take his spots wisely. Otherwise, Odyssey's he's just going to shut that all down. Absolutely. Just kind of starting a little bit of advantage here, getting 50% already. Just kind of taking, you know, just kind of destroying, you know, this type of sense of just this space because you know Hayes hasn't been getting, been able to do anything honestly. Trying to read that normal get up and. Wow, almost gonna die. Ooh. And very nice call out on that air dodge. Oh, went for a bit of style right there. I that mean, was clean. <laughs> I mean, look at what happened. That was that was a pretty nice two stock there, actually. Yeah, really Od nice. Odyssey learned how Hayes was landing and punished really accordingly. Punished with the down smash right there on Hayes landing with a um, lining with a defensive option with air dodge, and also took the second stock, punishing with a down smash on an aggressive option. So. Hey, uh, Odyssey knows how to space around Diddy's landing options Absolutely. and has been gaining a lot of mileage off that. And something we just noticed there, it was really nice that Odyssey actually chose to wait for that monkey flip since they did know that, you know, Hayes was actually trying to go for that monkey flip a lot. And very nice, just kind of reading that, getting the down smash and getting the back air, just kind of solidifying that first stock. But getting into the second game, we are actually going to Town & City. Now, this is definitely a little bit more space for Diddy Kong. So Hayes can potentially be able to use this to their advantage. Already still taking 41%, not really getting too much just entirely yet. Um, but still trying to make it as even as possible, getting a little bit of neutral going on. Yeah, still opting to go Diddy, which I can see because I don't think the character was too much of why Hayes lost there. I think it was Hayes getting really impatient and giving Odyssey a lot of free openings. So if Hayes is on point with shutting down Odyssey's approach, there's no reason they can't win this game. 
Absolutely. And the kind of thing with the patience game is that, you know, you can be easily outpatient. And that's exactly what we're seeing here from Odyssey. Ooh, just trying to, you know, kind of just control everything. You know, as we know, like, Diddy Kong kind of wants that space. But, you know, Odyssey is not really, ha like, having any of it, honestly. Even up right here. And Pace can hold this ledge. Oh, as I say that, goes for a pretty risky option. Definitely love all of these, like, you know, movement options that we are seeing from Hayes. Ooh, I do not think Hayes meant to throw that banana forward. I think they were trying to yeah. Z-drop the ledge recovery. But Absolutely. yeah, movement's going to be really important, I think, for Diddy. Because with someone who can catch stuff as fast as Greninja, you have to be able to mix them up in how you're positioning yourself. Absolutely. But yes, trying... This is kind of a little bit even and a little bit scary, but going to get that down so too fair... Very nice. And, you know, that, I think that's actually very, you know, very precise, that down tilt to fair. Because sometimes, you know, you can just essentially jump out of it, but just getting it perfectly, taking the lead here, definitely just need to be a little bit more careful and just, you know, be very, you know, patient about how they actually kind of control this next stock, getting 20% already, you know, percent lead, and just kind of want to take a little bit more. Yeah, last game started out with pretty even first stocks, and then Aussie ran away with it once um, once Hayes could not close it out. And it looks like it's telling the same story right here. I mean, that's just so crazy. Ex just very nice patience coming in from Odyssey and almost took that that second stock right there, but not entirely just yet. Already at 98%, just wow, kind of piling up the damage and not allowing, you know, Hayes to kind of do anything. They, it's at, Odyssey is at 190, 189%. That's, this is, this is, uh, yeah, that's this just kind of... Diddy has to, like, it's hard for, at, well, this percent is probably possible. For the most part, you're not killing too much off of stray aerials or something. So you got to catch Greninja or read Greninja doing something, and that's really difficult. But coming down with an aggressive back air, Odyssey not ready for that. Still a full stock lead, though. It's going to be really tough to bring this back. Absolutely. Definitely need to see a little bit more patience because, I mean, honestly... Ooh, we're kind of just seeing, you know, Hayes kind of panic here a little bit, throwing out that Nair, just getting punished for it immediately. Trying to get back to center stage, very nice barrel usage, but already taking 65% and trying to control this ledge stage situation right here. Ooh. And Odyssey, this whole set has been so prominent with his combo game. Like, the drag down Nairs, these double Nair right here, and the air dodge reads, he's just getting the most he can off of every opening. That's just going to create bigger and bigger leads. Absolutely. You know, when we see Hayes does actually have a lot of patience sometimes. It's just for the most part, you know, they're definitely looking like they don't really function too well, especially in disadvantage. Definitely something that ooh, is being taken advantage of by Odyssey here. And wow, up air killing. Yeah, that, I, that I up there was that. so smart. I didn't know that move killed. When you hear that, when you have two, Greninja's jump height, I guess anything can kill. But yeah, really good second up there by Odyssey because a lot of the stocks he's been killing by waiting for an air dodge. So right there at the end, he just went straight up for it because he knew that Hayes was probably not going to be ready for such an aggressive option. Absolutely. Just going to get that up air and just completely just... Wow. Up air is so... I did, well, it, up air from Greninja is actually pretty good. Not really more of a... um tool for um, killing, but, you know, even comboing. And the fact that I killed there was just like, yeah. wow. So next game, we are actually getting King Ark and...